So it's Saturday morning, our anniversary. Yeah, eight years. This is our anniversary breakfast. Gotta get the knife. And uh, we're gonna hike Killington today. Yeah. The woods today have a dark and ominous quality to them. As I quote Pug Dog. And there's a Cooper Lodge which is the oldest and uh, the oldest shelter on the LT and the one with the highest elevation as well. It's kind of gross, I think. It's smell. Oh, it doesn't even smell. Just met some two awesome Nobos. Um, actually three. So pea soup, and then when we were walking up, we met um, wildflower. wildflower and bougie. bougie. <laughs> they really seemed like really nice people. They shared with us that we were the happiest sounding <laughs> sobos they had run into. <laughs> um, I guess we've been lucky. We've had a good experience out here. Yeah. Um, Brightside and Wawa said the same thing. I feel like though this year for when we started in the days we put in, I can say that we've had some good weather up north yeah. to make it a very enjoyable experience. Whoa, it's pretty steep. Oh man, the sucker keeps going. nothing but fog and mist. You know, I feel blessed though. When we went out to Mansfield, the highest point, it was clear and beautiful. Oh well, you can't have it all. Woo! You can't see anything, but boy, it is amazing up here. Oh, it feels good. Come to the high point. Let's walk back here so Pug Dog can get her some recognition. So today is our eight year wedding anniversary. There's no better place to spend it than up here on Killington Peak, the second highest peak in Vermont. This is our second 4,000, our last 4,000 footer, not our second. It is. It's our fourth, fourth, actually our fifth 4,000 footer here in Vermont. We did all five. <sighs> kind of sad. From here on, it's kind of some of the smaller mountains and, and there's some still some cool ones. Glastonbury I'm looking forward to. Bromley's got the cool shelter on top. This is the uh, shelter on the LT with the fireplace. And the broken um, sticks. Oh boy. Oh, the smell of campfire isn't that bad. Yeah. This is cool. Look at this bench. 
Yeah, I really like the shelter, actually. Yeah, I think it's really nice. You can hear the water. Yeah, it's nice that you have a fire. Good place to take a break. Yeah. Not like Washington State last year. Good. I love it. Awesomeness. Yeah. Such a chain in the middle. Oh, look at it. That must be an awesome sign to see for AT through hikers. And like really easy trail. And the nobos were not lying when they said you'd fly through this. I'm okay. Yeah, the trail is really pretty right now. And there's water on both sides of us. What a blend of red and green. More brown and green. That was fun. Up here, there's two. You see the double blaze? Yeah. But why is this here? Whoa, it's really slippery. I almost just ate it. Like, I don't understand why we have to go over this. Yeah, this is very confusing. I don't actually think we had to. That was just fun. trying to start a fire, but everything's really wet. So we had something going for a little bit, but lucky for us, there's this fallen birch tree back here, which clearly lots of other people have picked, picked apart, but we've got, we got lots of um, birch bark from that. And um, yeah, we'll see if our fire happens. This is Clarendon shelter. I'm gonna go rinse my hands off in the creek. I'm gonna come too. I have okay. to go dirty. And we want to make dinner. Mm -hmm. I gotta eat soon. If you guys need to use a charger, I don't know if you guys did. I brought one. Washing Thank up you. for dinner in our creek. Dinner. She said she had left the Snickers on the on the, on the, uh, the uh, 
with uh, olive oil, mayonnaise, and uh, goldfish. Mm. Mm. We just started hiking about 28 minutes ago. Or no, 18 minutes ago. These are the views in the south. So, to confirm what a lot of the Nobos told us, the southern LT is so much easier to hike than the northern LT. I mean, and it's, it's not like a slight thing to say, it is considerably different. Yeah, I don't know if you heard that, Pug Dog said it's a joy to walk. <laughs> it really is. We left Clarendon Shelter, one of our favorites now. Really nice out in a field, great water. But a man we met from Massachusetts who was hammocking and just out for a one day thing. He said he's come out here many a time and the water's usually not like that. So keep that in mind if we ever want to come back out here for a weekend thing. But still, the rushing creek, the white noise, and then um, at Stark's Nest, like last week, we met a group of students that were training to lead orientation sessions for freshman students to the university. We met them training at Stark's Nest. And today, or last night, the, uh, the student leaders and the, the new freshman incoming students <clears throat> were all camping. They were really nice people. And just what a cool program. An introduction to Vermont. And also, there's one kid who was like a pro at making fires. He did such a great job. I think his name was Kobe. Yeah. Caleb. Caleb. Yeah, it was it? nice having the fire going as you were falling asleep. Yeah, totally. And they were really good kids. Like, they were really respectful. We went to sleep and everyone got quiet. Yep. Met some AT through hikers yesterday. Um, not like the huge bubbles that you might think. I think those have already passed us. I mean, it is towards the end of August, but met some. They all seem miserable. <laughs> yeah, the ones we, mm -hmm. the ones we saw. Um, they seem like zombies. Oh, you gotta put the camera away, my love. So, coming out to some sort of clearing, as Pug Dog just said. I see a blaze. Whoa, crazy bridge. Washington never scared me. Um, because the wood looks like it's about to rot away. It was also like so skinny yeah. and like long. I don't know why, it felt like I was walking on a very narrow... Tightrope? Yeah. <laughs> I kind of want to do that. Let's go. <laughs> and the 
this is the view from the bridge. Pretty cool. Water's really rushing from all the rain. Another view. Just powering ourselves up mountains and hills. down there. My god. It's so beautiful. That must be an airport. We've stumbled on the Newt Kingdom. Hello, Newt. These are like little baby ones over here. Like little toys. Oh, gummies. <laughs> gummies. Oh, waterfall. Yeah. You can take your uh, sleeping mat. Oh, I can go sliding down? Yeah. <laughs> what? This way, I guess? Yeah, I mean, I don't think there's a perfect way. That was fun. I like the river crossing. Me too. <laughs> you were still doing that long trail north thing. Were you a little looking up, like thinking it's going to go right over? <laughs> I was going to tell you two switchbacks down. Did you see me? There was like a big rock that went up. And I was like, okay, where am I going to walk on this rock? But then I was like, oh, the trail doesn't go up the rock. And I thought it did. Where are these gnomes at? I know. Do you see any? No gnomes. <laughs> So pretty up here. Ooh, we're poofed though. Where are the gnomes? I don't know what this is on this wall. Looks like pieces to farm equipment. Anyway, interesting. Maybe it used to say on this sign over here, but it doesn't anymore. This is a little rock pond shelter. Looks really nice. I'm thinking to maybe stand here, but I think we're gonna move on. Little rock pond. One of the three, what, mountain ponds you said? We, we stayed at the other one. We stayed at Sterling. <laughs> Once you're done.